feel I should be wearing a necklace but I think this top definitely does all the talking so we'll just roll with it I stuck some fairy lights behind me I've got my two advent calendars that's about as Christmassy as it gets in this room apart from my baubles on the window but I've got nowhere to put them hi guys welcome back or if you are new hi I'm Becca and welcome to my channel I realize I haven't actually sat down for a long long time and just spoke to you I've been quite busy vlogging recently so I thought what better thing to do than come at you with the what I got for Christmas video I personally love watching these types of videos I personally love reading these types of blog posts if you don't that's fine no one's forcing you to watch this but if you do like these videos and you're a little bit nosy like me then please stick around so hi I am Becca I'm a mental health nurse by day I'm a blogger by night and I'll leave all my links down below I started vlogging recently to just try and capture some memories. I'm going to run through what I was given in the order I was given them. It's just a lot easier for me to keep track. So, without further ado, let's crack on. If you read my blog from me on Twitter or Instagram, know me personally, then you will know that me and Ryan went to Disney back in October. Now, me and Ryan have been together for five years, so we seem to know each other quite reasonably well at this point. What's not to love? We both went for a very Disney theme with our presents. The first thing that Ryan got me was the proper chip mug. Now this is from the Disney store. I did open the Disney box. I have scoured depths and breadths of Primark across the country to find the chip mug. I found loads of chip purses and stuff, but anyway, proper chip mug. The second present that Ryan got me just <laughs> sums me up in a nutshell. I just don't have words for okay so I still live at home with my parents and my brother so Christmas morning is very traditional for us as a family me and I'd really like to say my brother but it's actually me and my dad wake up really early and usually wake my brother up and then as a family we go downstairs we have a cup of tea we kind of wake up and then it's presents galore so we'll start with them not one of the first presents that I received are from my parents but they are currently on my feet because I'm freezing cold and they are these little slippers from Sainsbury's with just some pom-poms on the front. I know they're from Sainsbury's, I picked them out myself. I'm quite fussy with slippers, what can I say? There's going to be no order to this, I'm just going to kind of dive into the bag and pull it out and I'll explain everything along the way. One of the main presents that I received of my parents, which is actually on top of the bag, is a Seconda fob watch. Being a nurse, this is one of the best presents I could receive for Christmas. A fob watch for me is as good as a pen. Nurse problems. I then received a Disney Classics CD. This has three CDs and it has every Disney song on that you could imagine. My parents really come through on stuff. I have been looking for this forever and I couldn't find it. So when I unwrapped this on Christmas morning, you could not imagine my excitement. It's just the little LED Mickey light from Primark. I have no idea where this is going to live yet, but trust me, I'm going to find a space. Now, this is definitely an inside joke, but I received two Paul Hollywood um, cake mixes. I am partial to a bit of baking. I'll always tell you, I can bake, but I can't cook. So it's a shame it's Paul Hollywood. Thanks, Dad. I then received a tin box of Oreos. Now, can we talk about where's the Christmas spirit? Everything's in packets. What's this about? So this is one of the first years that my brother has bought gifts off his own back. But this year he did this all on his own and I am so, so happy with what he got me. He did really, really well, can I point out. I am so excited to wear this. I'm a Hufflepuff and I'm a Hufflepuff and proud. I might be 24, but that seriously, believe me, does not stop my parents buying me really cute little gifts. And this little Mickey and mini Christmas cup is exactly that let's be honest what is christmas without a bit of chalk i got some caramac buttons which i didn't know caramac still existed what's christmas without a chocolate orange and also what's christmas without some coin for as long as i can remember i have always received one of the lint reindeers at christmas it is truly not christmas for me if i do not have a lint reindeer every time i move those reindeers are now gonna jingle and i'm quite 
looking forward to trying to edit that out. Usually in my family I'm quite easy to buy for. It's either Harry Potter or it's Disney and Disney has clearly been the main theme this year including this Tinkerbell art from Primark. These next two are a little bit of a strange gift but then at the age of 24 you also start to think a little bit more practically. These are advertised as storage bags. My plan is to use one for my washing and I think one for like blog pops. That's my plan. Whether it happens or what is yet to be seen. Now this is easily my favourite present that my parents got me. And I know you shouldn't have favourite presents because I'm grateful for everything of my parents and my brother. But seriously, this is the best mug ever. It's clearly a mug that parodies the Yorkshire tea and if you know me, it's the only tea I will drink. So this is a Yorkshire lass and proud of it mug, which is quite easily going to become my new work mug. I am so excited to use this mug, I can't even explain I just remembered that I totally forgot one of the gifts of my parents and that is Trivial Pursuit, the family edition. What are kids learning in schools these days where the adults questions are actually easier than the kids questions? So that's Christmas morning spent with my brother and my parents and then in the afternoon we all go across to my grandparents and we then exchange presents with my grandparents. We're quite a small family if you haven't worked out. What is Christmas without shortbread and loving little gingerbread men? So. These will go down a treat with a cup of tea, I promise. My grandma also picked me up some more slippers. These are just the boot style slippers, which always come in handy for when the weather's that little bit colder. Again, what is Christmas if you don't receive a chocolate orange and some more coins of your grandparents? My grandparents also got me this royal jelly gift set, which I love royal jelly. And it already smells gorgeous, I can already smell it. Sticking with the beauty theme for a little while, I was also given the Sanctuary Spa Gentle Polish Body Scrub. I also was given a body sorbet from the body shop in their pink grapefruit scent. Me, it screams summer, and these body sorbets are my favourite. I received one of the most beautiful handbags I've ever seen. I'm actually in love with this colour. It's kind of a mixture between mustard and like a camel tan. To go with the bag, my grandparents also bought me this gorgeous, gorgeous scarf. I got my second Harry Potter gift of Christmas, which were the Bertie Bots Every Flavoured Beans. It might be a fun game of Bean Boozled with the family. That's an idea, actually. What is Christmas if you don't get the little golden tray? So yeah, it's no secret that I've been wanting to learn to knit and to crochet for quite a few years now. I just haven't got around to it. For Christmas, my grandma has picked me up a beginner's crocheting kit and she also bought me a little course in crochet book which has every pattern that you could imagine in. So that's it for Christmas Day. Now Boxing Day is our Christmas round two. We see my cousin and his wife who live up in Chesterfield and again we exchange some gifts. I wasn't expecting to be given this Makeup Forever Eye Basics kit. My cousin's wife knows just how into makeup I am. On to my main gift of my cousin which I had told everyone who knows me that I wanted for Christmas this year and they got me the Harry Potter A History of Magic book that goes along with the exhibition at the British Library. So that's it guys, that's what I got for Christmas. I am so grateful for everybody that got me anything and Disney is clearly the running theme of this year's gift giving. Not that I have a problem with it. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope if you have anybody with similar interest it's given you maybe some gift ideas and um, that's what I always take from these videos. I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas, I hope you had a wonderful day doing whatever it is you do and I hope you all have a very happy new year. I will see you very very soon, all my links are down below if you want to see what I'm up to any other time and I'll see you in the new year. That is a bird right outside my window. It's <laughs> clearly a mug designed in the Yorkshire tea, you know. It's clearly a mug parodying. It's clearly a mug that 